when you think of the problems and you also consider where the pain that they cause is collected in your body. You may find uh, one area and you start to look at this area and all the pain that is say manifested in that area because of this injected reality just injected forcefully frequency and emotional war of disregard and rejection I'm not going to count all the suffering that can be gathered in a body I just want to say it generally without getting into too much details just the you know trying to bring it without much examples anyway when you get to this point and you have felt the pressure and the pain that was gathering there you will consider what you can do with it You could move it from uh, this organ to another organ, to this part of the body, let's say it's on this part, then you can move it to the other part, the opposite part. You can play now with them, you can move them, move the pressure that is created on that particular organ to this neighboring organ that is, say, looks like a good balance. You could and now have these two organs carrying the same pressure. And um, you will maybe see sorry and you maybe see that the two areas that are matching the are carrying together they are actually a one unit in the sense that is connected that has neighboring from above it or below it or in some form related to them to the more organ so you will see that the higher part of the chest for example is opposite to the belly and now we are working on the higher part of the body and you're thinking what is happening there emotionally what is happening to this part of the body what you feel is happening to it during this life So there is a hurt in a certain part 
radical left belly side moving to the right belly side and then steadying holding together what they need to be holding first of all the, I was in my attention came the higher part of the chest so the higher part of the lungs came into attention And the higher part of the lungs, if it remembers its original uh, functioning, maybe also to all the self-esteem to hold the the angle this stretchfulness the directiveness they hold the ground from the chest so what's hold the ground from the chest is the I call it toes. I call it so the pressure overall is a frequency that is coming from all direction and in a multitude of ways. It is destruction that is, I can not say enough to visualize it for you. You must be able to so when it comes to violence between people when it comes to violence between people i think it's epidemic it's a psychological implanted epidemic that is being induced in, by several elements that some of them impressional like violent movies and some of them are chemicals that you eat in meat or somewhere some elements are sprayed from above in the sky some elements of destruction are draco draco spring in Getting this place out with frequencies. So uh, the Anunnaki, with their great wisdom, and so are so are several elements that are constantly building a wall of destruction. And maintaining the force through the means of what we could eventually call frequencies or call emotions, but they are getting to us through some part of the body with which this practice that I am talking about is that can be applied. Now, what is the further step after you have captured it and recognized that it is all a frequency that is bombarded on you from different technical and different entities that are already defined you know that you are in this 
field of war with those entities that is the war that eventually is coming to your body is being interpreted by you as this destruction and the destruction of the body that means what you usually call aging and dying what if you came upon that too so this is a field of impression where you got used to hear a lot of things with a frequency accompanying it that is giving you a familiar sense of validity it says you are here where you are this is how it always was this is the frequency that you always know on the surface of this planet and that what people also call human suffering after they have forgotten how it how it started how it happened and the people who who, who remembered I'm not sure if anybody had remembered it. Because like, you see, I look at cultures like, like American people. American people, it's very easy for them to be convinced and support the idea that they are superior to the Muslims. I'm wondering how that could have happened to them. Because for me, you see the, this concept that Western people, many Western people, Christians or Jews would easily agree about this notion, which is completely remote from reality, but they are very easy, easily agreeing to this. How could that happen? Is one of the most intriguing questions that I encountered. How could they make all those people believe in those crap that they are selling about I don't know what and this feeling? You know, how could you Americans believe ever that you are exceptional? How could you be true to yourself at all and by thinking that you were exceptional? And what is this Jewish people here that think that they are exceptional? I know them. They are retarded, retarded zombies. So, so my intent is not to quarrel about any particular frontier. But I would honestly, I would say that I would love to see the system shut up, shut down, or shut, shut high, but shut. I'm tired of this continuous, reckless contamination, in both in a spiritual way, in a frequency way, in a physical way. I'm tired of it. I'm ready for the system to shut down. I don't care even about the reset. They can shut it down for my... I'm giving the, the go. Please do it. With all the fear that it takes, do it. I recommend we shut it down. Without hesitation, just shut it down and see what happens. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you
Sun Field, and this was my save.